News Channel 3's Jake Ingrassi has continuing coverage now on the chaos at the Capitol this week. He's reporting live from home after talking today with a local supporter of President Trump who was there for the rally on Wednesday. Jake. Yeah, John, good evening. And that Palm Springs woman calls herself a patriot invested in stopping the steal of an election that was certified by Congress with bipartisan support earlier this week, despite that unprecedented attack on democracy. I felt the need to go to stand up as a proud American who believes in truth, freedom, and the American way. Tony Ringline of Palm Springs, a conservative activist and ardent Trump supporter, flew across the country this week to see the president's speech in which he urged supporters to march on the Capitol to protest his baseless claims of election fraud. You'll never take back our country with weakness. You have to show strength and you have to be strong. We're willing to risk our lives. The president incited some of the thousands who gathered to commit violence on the step of the Capitol, overpowering law enforcement, toppling barricades and rioting through the halls of Congress. <laughs> the unprecedented attack leaving five people dead, including a Capitol police officer. No one wants lives to be lost. I don't want anyone to be dead. And President Trump doesn't either. Ringline says she wasn't part of the violent group who trespassed and said without evidence, those who did weren't associated with the president, though she admits his supporters were there to put pressure on lawmakers before they could vote to certify the election. She showed our Senate and Congress that there are Americans out here that want the right thing to happen, that we want freedom, that we do not want this, this stolen election. Members of the House drafting a new article of impeachment that accuses the president of inciting insurrection and gravely endangering the security of the United States. But Ringline says President Trump isn't responsible. He never incites violence, never. You don't think the president played a role in what took place in the Capitol? No, President Trump did not encourage that. He has never encouraged violence. He's never encouraged any of that. What did he mean in that taped address asking people to go home? We love you. You're very special. He loves us. He appreciates us, his, our support. A lot of people took that to mean that he was speaking to people who did breach the Capitol that day. I know, that typical liberal spin. And despite the deadly assault on American democracy, Ringline maintains her pride in taking part. I'm proud and grateful I was there. I'm proud. I'm a proud American. And President Trump, who previously said he would, quote, never concede, uh, later issued a statement promising a peaceful transfer of power. And as you heard there, Twitter today permanently suspending his account due to the risk of further incitement of violence. Reporting live tonight, Jake Gracia, News Channel 3.